the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, spotted something weird. What looks like city lights on a planet, super far away, about 7 trillion miles? This got everyone wondering if there's anyone else out there. The telescope was pointed at Proxima. Centauri B, which is the closest planet outside our solar system. It saw some bright lights coming from it. What if these lights are from a city? Could it mean there's life on that planet? For ages, people have been dreaming about finding life out there. So, when the JWST sent back data showing these shimmering, city-like lights on Proxima Centauri B, scientists were shocked. If it's true, this could mean intelligent aliens are building stuff we don't know about. Engineers are scratching their heads. Wondering how long those lights have been shining? Waiting for us to finally see them? David Kipping, space dude from Columbia University. Says Proxima B is interesting because it warms up and cools down differently than other planets. Normally, rocky planets soak up sunlight and spit out infrared heat. But Proxima B is different. The JWST, which can see infrared light, could help us figure out what's going on with its atmosphere and if life is even possible there. The JWST can even see the dark side of Proxima B and pick up tiny glimmers of light. It's perfect for checking if those city light rumors are true. If there's any artificial light out there, the telescope should be able to spot it. Proxima B has a cool setup. Side facing its star is covered in what might be solar panels, soaking up energy. And like Earth, it has day and night. But because it's made up of different stuff, the temperature swings can be wild. If it doesn't have an atmosphere, the days would be super hot and the nights would be freezing. The JWST is in a good spot to watch Proxima B's day and night. And it can check out its atmosphere to see if there are signs of life like oxygen, water, and methane. But it's tricky to grab and analyze the light beams that pass through the planet's air. Even though the JWST is awesome, it can only check out a few nearby planets. That's why scientists are also looking forward to using ground-based telescopes, like the extremely large telescope ELT, which should be up and running in 2028. The ELT will help us get a better look at the atmospheres of these far-off planets and see if they could support life. Researchers want to build future telescopes that can block out the glare from a planet's star so they can see the planet's light better. They're thinking of using masks or giant sunshades in space. But even then, it'll be tough to tell if the gases we find came from living things or just from volcanoes. The JWST is just a taste of what's to come as we get better at exploring space. We'll learn more about the universe and our place in it. So far, we haven't found any other planets with life. But are we really alone? People have been asking this for ages. Even now, researchers are using the JWST to try to find alien civilizations hiding among the stars. Back in 1984, two astronomers started a project called SETI to listen for radio signals from space. Radio waves can travel really far, so they're a good way to try to contact aliens. But even though SETI has been listening for over 30 years, they haven't heard anything back. But Jill Tartar, one of the founders, is still hopeful. She wants everyone to help search for life out there. All this brings us back to those NASA reports about the JWST possibly seeing city lights on a planet near J Earth. The JWST is our best tool for figuring out the universe. It can see through dust and spot the oldest galaxies and stars. It has a bunch of cool instruments that work together to give us amazing views of space. The telescope's giant mirror helps it capture faint light from far away. Since it's super cold, it can pick up even the weakest heat signals. It's already sent back some awesome pictures and info about galaxies, planets, and stars. But these possible city lights have made everyone rethink what's out there. These lights on Proxima Centauri B are a mystery. Is it aliens? We're still looking into it. The telescope is helping us get closer to answering the big question, are we alone? If those lights are real, it raises a ton of questions. Are they artificial? The way they shine suggests they might not be natural. Maybe they're from aliens with tech. Or maybe some weird kind of living thing makes light. It's hard to believe that such organized lights could come from so far away. But it's also possible that it's just some weird natural thing we don't understand. Yet, maybe it's something in the planet's atmosphere or energy from its star. 
To figure it out, scientists will keep watching the lights to see how they change. The JWST is perfect for this. The lights are steady or change in a way that makes sense for technology. That would be a big clue. As our technology gets better, we'll have even better tools for studying these planets. Future telescopes will work with the JWST to help us find life, or at least learn more about other worlds. Finding life outside Earth would be huge. It would change how we see science, philosophy, and everything else. Knowing we're not alone could change human history and maybe even lead to us sharing ideas and tech with aliens. David Kipping, this space dude from Columbia University, thinks Proxima b is interesting because it warms up and cools down differently than other planets. Normal rocky planets soak up sunlight and give off infrared, but Proxima b doesn't do. That the James Webb Space Telescope can check infrared stuff. Its heat signature will help figure out Proxima b's atmosphere with better infrared cameras. Scientists want to look at the atmosphere. They also want to see if anything could live there. The James Webb Space Telescope can see infrared, so they can check out the night side of Proxima b, even the dim lights. That's hard for other space telescopes, but not this one. It can figure out anything artificial light out there. Proxima b has a weird thing going on with its light and planet surface. During the day, it's getting a ton of light by stars and reflects it back. It has day and night. Planets have different temperature because different amount of gas is in there. Because James Webb Space Telescope is good, there can be a efficient work and observation since Proxima b does have air surrounding it. A hunt to see if it has water. Vapor and oxygen is on. P.S. Bingo. Earth 2.0. Checking this is hard, because you have to capture light from across a planet. Astronomers are waiting for better gadgets to further explore. It's a deep of space on Exoplanet. James Webb Space Telescope may not be that strong, but it's all we got. Researchers want the ability to see behind the light that comes from stars. However, scientists have to separate biological from geological. Can you tell the difference from a gas due to a living organism to a gas from natural causes? The James Webb Space Telescope gives us a taste of what's to come. We haven't found any life on any planets yet. Have we been alone this whole time? But yet we still rely on James Webb Space Telescope that there may be planets out there with aliens in the S. 1908's two American astronomer. By the name of Jill Tartar and Thomas Pearson, thought that there was something there. Known as SETI, they believe that there may be radio signals. Thanks to its property, radio signals are easier to transmit due to their not much scattering. It has also been scanning for radio signals, however the DISH have not received any transmission. After three decades. But Jill Tartar has not lost hope. While we search through other planets to find life, NASA has unveiled that it may found urban lights nearby Earth. James Webb Space Telescope, built in 2020, has the best machinery. With its systems, they look into deep space to see the earliest that formed. It's named after James E. Webb, who played a huge role in space exploration. It uses NR Cam. In our spec and MIRI, to see if there are anything out there, even built in the lowest. Degrees the telescope can see the weakest thermal signals from light far away. While the telescope has been focusing on galaxies, finding city lights is an interesting thing to study. Prompts. Codelets have caused experts to rethink that what they are looking for may be behind these lights, it's the telescope. Will always make the humankind closer to knowing the answer of if there is life in the universe. As researchers continue analyzing, we must question where these lights may be from. The mystery to solve is whether these lights are real. It may be a technological creation made by smarter life forms from another planet. Yet the artificial signal may be some kind of natural activity that we are not accustomed to. Certain scientists have said that these signals come from climatic or chemical reaction. Scientists will focus how these lights act over the time. James Space Telescope will be on watch for those signals to observe what it may be. They will also deploy different instruments for studying exoplanets. We keep moving. Forward for the sake of life. The ability to check planetary lighting is something we never seen before. The idea of detecting a signal or source shows that we are getting closer to discovering the answer. The impact of discovering alien life would change a lot due to sea philosophy 
and society's beliefs. We are not alone anymore. This could have potential new ways of understanding life and where we truly stand and it could allow humans to interact with other cultures and use their equipment. 